Good morning everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma and also welcome to another um, My Favorite Stamp of the Month. For today we are featuring this stamp set right here called Main Street. Basically this is just like a stamp set with little um, like with little buildings. Oh, the two are missing because I use that. Um, they have little buildings, like two little different kind of streets, um, and two cutie patootie little bikes. And these extra pieces, like with the triangles, not triangles, little rectangles, basically what those are for, let me show you really quick here. Okay, so this is the little building that I'm using, which is this one right here, on my card today. So what I did was I... There's one, two, so there's three be three buildings and there's three sets of little windows. So basically what you want to do, if you if you get confused of any way, just go ahead and grab the one that best fits. So like obviously as you can see, that fits in that one perfectly. Um, and keep in mind, a lot of these don't fit like, they're not perfect in the actual rectangles. The way I designed these, I kind of made the little windows a little offset. Um, so, and like for example, with this one right here, like it has like little stuff outside the window. I believe that one goes with that. So these are just almost like, so you might want to stamp that one in a lighter color and stamp these and maybe in a darker color. So you, so you could kind of accent the little windows, like the decorations that should be on the around the windows of these, okay? so. That's the set we are, this is going to be our favorite stamp of the month. So basically that means this will be on sale the entire month of November. Um, the sale will end on November 30th at midnight um, Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so let me show you the other sets that I am using on my card today. I am using the Stitch Rectangular um, Dies and More. And this is just one of them that goes with it. I'm using this. This is the size I'm using for my card. And then I'm using my little, I believe these are called the Winter Flakes, the three little snowflake die. And then I'm using Boughs of Holly. I'm going to use the um, die that says Mary. Um, and then, oh God, I think I use Anne Bright. So it's going to be Mary Anne Bright. And then with my seasonal greeting set, I am using the little... Um, what am I using on this one? The little ornaments. There's a little ornament and I'm using one of, I believe it's this little tree, little um, branch or the tree trunk that I'm using. Okay. So let's go ahead and get, okay, this here is just your basic um, A2 standard size card. Okay. And then I, I already stamped on here and bright because I kind of wanted to, get an idea exactly where I wanted um, to kind of place everything, okay? And what I also did, I decorated my house. So what I did was I, I'm going to show it to you right here. This is where it's going to go. So what I did was I stamped the house in this cobblestone by Simon Says Stamp. And then the little windows I stamped with um, Hero Arts Soft Pool. And then um, Anne Bright is stamped in the Simon Says Stamp Slate color, okay? So those are the colors that I use for my stamping. So basically what I did was I just stamped it on a piece of paper and I cut it out by hand because it was super easy to do that. Um, and then what I did was I went ahead and I used this stuff right here, the liquid applique. I'll go ahead and I forgot to put it on this little section here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on here for you just so you could see how this works. You could get this at um, like a Joann's or a Hobby Lobby or a Michael's, I believe. You could pick this up from. So basically you just want to just put it where you want it. And see, I need to, I'm running low because I'm using this a lot. Um, well, I actually have been using this for a couple of years now, so it does last. So this is just gonna go right here. Okay, and then to get the little puffiness, what you want to do is just grab your heat tool and you're going to go ahead and heat it up. Not too much and that will give you like the little bubbly effect that almost looks like snow. So we're going to, I'm going to do that right now. 
Okay, you see how it made it like a little fluffy right there? So basically, that's what I want to do. Now, the inspiration for my whole card setup is actually from Miss Nikki from my design team. There was another class this time around um, for, you know, how the Simon Says stamp has the classes that I usually take. I did not take it this time around. Um, I just I just didn't think I had, had time to watch the videos. But to be honest with you, everybody is actually sharing everything that they're learning all over Facebook and everything. So I figured I'm just going to get my inspiration from there. So Miss Nikki had made a card, a beautiful card yesterday. And apparently she she learned in the class I guess their focus was to kind of have like a little focal point on the left side of the card. I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive that that's what she said in her blog post. Um, so that's where I got the inspiration from, okay? So that's basically what I'm doing today. So I'm going to go ahead and I cut out all of these in white. Um, because I, like I said, all the focal point you want it to be, um, apparently I guess it's supposed to be all on the left hand, a left, lower left hand corner there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of just like arrange these where I want them to be. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to, oh, I guess I'll just leave that. Well, do I want another one up here? I'm going to quickly glue these down really fast. Okay, I went ahead and I glued all of my snowflakes down. And while I'm cutting this off, these little tiny stars are from my set called the 4x4 Journal and More. Um, that's where the little tiny star dies come from. And then what I did was I kind of put them on the little house to make them look like um, almost like little just Christmas decorations on the house. Um, and then what I did was I used this. This is a Wink of Stella. I was actually bought this by accident. I thought this was the actual brush pen, but unfortunately it wasn't. Basically what this is, if it doesn't say brush tip, they're just like a fine point. And this is what I use to, and you can't really tell, but I use these connect to connect the little stars to almost make it look like there's lights hanging from the house. Um, okay, so anyways, this is the little tree branch that I had decorated, okay? Isn't this adorable? That's what I had decorated right there. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to just glue this directly on here. And I love the way, um, the way I designed this set was I made the little ornaments look like there's like a they're hanging from a little string so they won't be just plain circles um let's put this right here it looks like a little charlie brown tree so you see how there's like little lines on top of each circle to make it look like give the little effect of like a real tree Okay, and then here goes the Mary die. I went ahead and I, um, Nikki totally inspired me to do this, to do this in gold. So I had to do it because she was just making some really pretty projects with using some gold. So I wanted to try it out today. So what I do is I cut this out like I believe four times and I just adhere them all together just to kind of give it a little thicker look to kind of make it look, you know, just to give it a little thicker look because the paper I used was a little bit thin on the thin side so I wanted to just give it a little bit more dimension so I'm just using my multi the multi-medium mat I believe is what it's called to adhere it down and this stuff works awesome okay so that is just going to go like so just like that So that's going to go like there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pop dot this up, which I'm going to use this stuff right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put this on here really quick. 
Okay, I went ahead and I put that on um, behind here just to give it just a little bit of dimension here. Um, so anyways, the class I believe that's, that the Simon Says Stamp is giving is called the Holiday Class. So if you are interested in taking it, go definitely, I, I definitely recommend it because they give you some awesome ideas. If not, check, take a look at what everybody else is doing. Like I said, I got this because a lot of ladies are taking it on my design team. And they're just sharing pictures and kind of explaining what the class has taught them. So that's where my card came from today. It didn't take too long to make, I do have to say, but I really love the way it came out. Okay, everybody? So anyways, so just keep in mind this set that I used here called Main Street which you could do lots of cute little different things with it and you could also definitely check out my design team what they made with this set because they blew me away with it. I was really really happy with everything like I'm always happy with everything they make but they just use this set in a different way that I didn't think of so that's why I love it because you can see the variety of ways you could use it um, rather than just using it one way. Okay everybody thank you so so much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day and I will see you back here soon. Bye bye. Thank <music> you.